I don't know if you can hear that. But it won't go. This motor is binding up or something. It won't go left and right. So my theory is the x-axis stepper motor went bad. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, it's the, it's the driver, step motor driver. But I got no power. There's no power on this. Okay, that was easier than I thought. So I started loosening these two bolts here, these two little screws. And then I happened to see these here at the bottom. Those two were three millimeters, so I just loosened those up and I was able to slide it in, take the belt off and slide it out. And then, yeah, this feels pretty rough. It feels like there's a bad bearing. Yeah. So my new stepper motor from Amazon came in. It's a NEMA 17, 42 by 40. Um, I paid 14 bucks for it. And then, uh, you know, bought some other stuff so that I had free shipping. It did come with this this cord, but that is way too long, so I'm going to toss that to the side. Really, only two tools are needed to swap it. Three millimeter hex and two millimeter hex. So it's all in, time to test it. Z moves. Y moves. And there you have it. The X is still doing the same thing, so it looks like I have to look at the driver. With all my experience being in auto mechanics, welding, and just a little bit of machining, I don't really know what I'm doing with electrical. Kind of like the, uh, the film production stuff. It's just another adventure, so on to the next adventure. So this is where the 3 millimeter comes in, these two here. I just have these a little loose. So I can slide it in.